Welcome to Economy Release and welcome to the 15th edition of the Semina Leader Summit here in Dubai's Atlantis Hotel. Now, the theme this year is a rather interesting one, evolving toward integration, intelligence, sustainability in infrastructure with 300 delegates, 50 speakers attending from across the globe. Some of the main themes are 5G advanced and cyber resilience in business, among many others. Today at Economy Middle East, I'll be talking to some of the movers and shakers covering the event from top to bottom and seeing what Huawei is up to within the space. I'm Alf Sarper reporting for Economy Middle East. Now in its 15th year, the Samina Council Leaders Summit continues to be a shining example of innovation and collaboration in the telecom sector. This year's event is organized under the theme Evolving Toward Integration, Intelligence, Sustainability in Infrastructure. The reason why we are gathering today is to have a stock-taking exercise, look at what are the needs of the market, how we can redefine the role of the different stakeholders, and work together on a very long-term basis for attaining our sustainable development goal. Cyber security and cyber safety is an important pillar because we need to build a trust, not only with the citizen and the consumer that we will be connecting, but also to build a trust with the enterprise in order to have a resilient network. There is a need in our region for digital infrastructure that will help our countries achieve important objectives. Those objectives include increasing economic growth, and development and keeping pace with global developments and innovations. The annual International Industry Leaders Congregation delved into discussions centered on leading the 5GA, that is 5G Advanced Era, Cyber Resilience for Business, GCC Spectrum Opportunities, Sustainable Digital Transformation, Digital Innovation and Choice, and space and satellite ecosystems. Notably, Huawei has continuously demonstrated a dedication to advancing development and encouraging open collaboration and transparency in the region by being a reliable partner for 11 years. Chief among the topics of the conversation, 5GA Forum, leading the 5GA era, evolution and deployment experience. The seminar provided a venue for discussing the possibilities of 5GA, highlighting the successful use cases of 5GA, and emphasizing its critical role in reshaping a range of industries and bringing in a new era of unmatched connection and innovation for telecom providers, businesses alike. The, the UAE is proactively driving technology uh, innovation into the era of 5G advanced. We are committed to developing a comprehensive national strategy for 5G advanced networks. Additionally, we welcome collaboration with industry partners to expedite the advancement of the 5G advanced terminal ecosystem. During the summit, the UAE launched 5G A Country and announced plans for the UAE to set sail for 5G A nationwide. The announcement was made in the presence of senior representatives from TDRA, e and DU, Samina Council, GSMA, WBBA, MEIG, and SHOMAC. In addition, several industry representatives announced the Middle East Glasses Free 3D Industry Initiative to promote the large-scale commercial use of glasses free 3D business. The upcoming commercial use of 5GA in 2024 was discussed during a panel session titled Ecosystems and Business Development in 5GA Era with the participation of some high-profile speakers. What does 5G Advance promising us? And I think my colleagues have mentioned a few slides about that. Of course, it's going to enhance the broadband connectivity, but not only that, will enable some attributes to cement those bridges between us and other technologies. As a matter of fact, it will remove all the islands between the ICT sector and many other industries around us. 
Uh, and of course, economic contribution, 5G is expected to contribute 930 billion to the global economy by 2030. Now at the event, delegates not only get to network with each other and listen to some of the top names in the industry, but also they can come across certain pop-ups and new technologies like the one we have behind me, describing and showcasing how 5G can be integrated, 5G advanced can be integrated to our everyday lives, but also within B2B. It's very evident that uh, this region is at the heart and the global key focal point, not only for the advanced technologies, but also for the passion of government to really execute digital transformation. And in Huawei, we believe on this value. We believe in performance, but we also believe in bringing green and sustainability to every uh, single part of the world, especially here in GCC country. We've seen uh, 5G Advanced actually is bringing more efficiency, much better efficiency here uh, in order to tackle all of those industry. We will be talking about the 5G connectivity index that we have just launched by our GSMA intelligence team. And the main highlight of it is that there are, there's a, a gap, growing gap, countrywide gap between countries that have launched 5G and countries that have not yet uh, launched 5G, mainly in the low and middle income countries. And just as we need to tackle the coverage gap, which has been diminishing, the usage gap, which has not, unfortunately, uh, we also need the, the proper policies in place and the proper collaboration between governments, uh, private sector and non-government agencies uh, to tackle also the, the, the 5G uh, gap as well. At the Samina Leaders Summit 2024, Huawei, in collaboration with STC and the Samina Telecommunications Council, led a pivotal discussion on cybersecurity on the theme of building telecom cyber resilience to protect businesses in the digital era. Huawei emphasized the importance of open and transparent collaborations in the cybersecurity ecosystem. The company believes collaboration between industry stakeholders can help strengthen defenses against existing and forthcoming cybersecurity challenges, improve resilience and signal security across the telecom ecosystem. 5G Advance is an inspiring transformation in everything. It is the heart of developing, development of the overall economy. Uh, 5G Advance actually is bringing not only the speed, but also multi-dimensional uh, experience that will help us in everything. It will help us in having broadband at home. It will help us in connecting every single thing, every single camera, everything that we need to be connected. And I will borrow three words from His Excellency the Minister of uh, Tolerance when he, when he said transformation intelligence that will bring tolerant, peaceful and also prosperous and green life for everybody.